Today we head back to the old clockworks in hopes of climbing the clock tower and finding the next dark moon piece. The only problem is, there's another possessor guarding the dark moon piece. And if that wasn't bad enough, this powerful possessor has also possessed the clock face. The clock tower is our boss, and our enemies lie within the numbers. Will Luigi be able to defeat this giant foe and reclaim the dark moon piece, or is his time up? Let's find out now. TikTok Gamer is back with another awesome episode of Luigi's Mansion 2 HD for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys were last time, you'll know that we went to Peace at Last, where we got the stolen rotor that we needed to turn the clock hands. We also found another toad assistant and a sneaker with strange markings that seemed to make it more powerful. But on top of everything else, the toad we found? Yeah, he had another image just like the last it just like the last toad. So we're gonna head into Showtime, see what this image has for us, and see if we can battle a boss. Let's do it! Alright, Luigi, ready to take a gander at that security image? Let's do it. And there's a lot going on here. There he is, just behind the clock tower gate. Hmm, another possessor. I wish I could say I was surprised. Anywho, he's, he and those ghosts seem to be heading to the top of the tower. Remember how to inspect the scene? Yeah, of course I do. This hasn't been that long. So let's inspect this guy a little bit closer. Hmm. I wonder how each of those possessors got a hold of the dark moon pieces. That can't be a coincidence. No, that's gonna be a coincidence. The shadow! Look at that! That is one big scary shadow. I'm starting to think that the Dark Moon didn't break apart on its own. Interesting, huh? There's another boo. Boo's everywhere! Strange. They seem to get along with the possessed ghosts. Boos don't usually get along with, well, with other powerful ghosts. Interesting! You know what else is interesting? More boos with spirit balls. Another boo using those spirit balls to cause illusions. Who gave them that ability? They can't have just started doing that on their own. It's strange. Now these ghosts, which we can't really inspect any more. We already have. That area is where the gem is. Oh, there's another boo up there. Assuming on that does nothing. But this... A sack! Is that a painting inside? Hmm. Why are those booze guarding it so closely? Wait a minute. There's something familiar about that hat. Oh, you mean that hat that has an M on it? I wonder what that could be. I wonder who that could be. We all know that paintings are never good. What is that ominous cloak? It almost seems like it's influencing the ghost somehow. Including possessors. The ghosts become hostile, but they also seem to be under someone's control. Hmm. You know, I've never honestly seen that. I never saw that cutscene. I never thought to look up there. Nice. Well, we saw a lot in that image. That glow coming from outside, the limits of the image, gives me a very bad feeling. It's almost like there's an evil presence ordering the possessors to guard the Dark Moon pieces. Could it be that all the ghosts in Emerson Valley are being commanded by some evil villain? Who or what could that source be? Anywho, I could ponder forever, but we need to get to the top of that gold clock tower ASAP. Otherwise, that possessor might fly away with the Dark Moon piece inside of it. I trust you've still got that rotor on you. Yes, of course I do. I'll never lose it. Excellent. You'll need to install it near the big clock face. 
Oh, and... Here, there are precious clock hands. Hope your clock... Hope your pockets aren't that full. But of course, you could fit anything inside of there, so... That's not really an issue. It's a good thing you have such deep overalls pockets in those overalls. <laughs> Finally, someone makes mention to it! Alright, youngster, it's showtime! Get to the top of the clock tower and find that dark moon piece! Stay in your guard. The possessor ghost is likely at the top of the tower. Be careful and look like you, young feller. As we saw, it had three horns! More horns means more power. That means more danger. And as crazy as he got is, he's at least nice enough to- OH! Another rare image! Or another rare, uh, entrance? I was trying to get that to show in the gloomy manner, but... Now we got to see it firsthand. Nice! So we try to go through a door, and you got right from Francis once again. Oh. Hello? And he says the exact same thing mm -hmm. as he did in the manor, except for this. We worked so hard for this moment! Open that blasted gate! We open it again. Or we try to beat all your boys again. He reprimands us again. Luigi! The clock tower gate is waiting to be opened! You're not scared of that possessor ghost, are you? Of course I am! I want to leave! Luigi, quit being such a... Such a... Whisper... Whippersnapper ninny and get to the dark... That clock tower! And I'm old enough to know what a whippersnapper is. Is there anything else? Is that it? No. Okay. We've already reached the end of our... Of our, uh, conversations with the ad. So before we go check that out, let's go ahead and look through here one last time. This is where we saw that Possessor. And there's a lot more going on. Money-wise. There's our final gem. But we notice... 7... 3... 0. They're the biggest numbers in this room. Not only that, there's a clock down there. It's hard to see. This one's better. It shows 7.30. Hmm. Now that we have that ingrained in our memories, let's go ahead and put those clock hands back. Oh. Ah. This goes here. Oh. And this one goes in like that. Oh. And... There we go. Perfect. Hmm. Say it right. Now all you gotta do is put back on the road her. Right, Luigi? That's next on the list. How big are her overall pockets exactly, Luigi? Hey, who knows? Now we put those back. Let's set the clock to 7.30. Doing this will... force us to put it a little bit farther, but doing this... We'll open the clock tower gates, allowing us to access the clock tower itself. So let's head into the movements. Here we are. First and foremost, let's go over here and claim our gem. The final ruby in the old clockworks. We're almost done. Which is sad, because I also really like the old clockworks. Now, you also remember that Boo playing with the spirit balls over here. We go ahead and make this chest reality. And get lots more. So, we blow on this, it raises the floor, allowing us to go over here, collect ourselves more money. I think a gold bar just fell down, so we're gonna have to go get that. Ah! 
How dare you keep me from my money? Eh. Oh, it's still down there. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Grab it, Luigi. Grab it! No! Yes! Alright, I got it. I'm very lucky that didn't disappear. Anyway, let's go ahead. Well, seems like we can't get that coin. I guess that's fine. We got ourselves a lot of money already. We don't really need every little bit of money that we can get anymore. Yo, I'm gonna suck you guys up this time because you don't give me anything when I flash you and you're just annoying. Alright. A little bit further. And we're gonna reach the top. And the uh, gold spider. The only bug in this entire place that actually gives me anything once I kill it. Sweet. And come on, I know spiders hate light. Or, I know some bugs hate light, but geez, that's a little bit nuts. Dying at the mere sight of it? That's a little dumb. I am very glad I don't have to deal with the spider queen anymore, so that I don't get in trouble with her when I suck up her children. So at the Belfry, there's nothing here. Just a long ladder that we're gonna have to climb up and nope! <laughs> nope! Springboard secret shortcut! Guess those factory workers are really lazy and just wanted the shortcuts. Seventy-five years later. <laughs> to use instead of climbing that giant ladder. Alright. And there's Possessor hiding right behind the door. And he uses his magic powers and makes the numbers on the clock tower disappear. Now. <clears throat> As you hear the sounds of a ticking clock in your ears, better get ready because in this world the numbers spell your doom. It's the old clockworks! This possessor is taking control of the entire old clockworks. Yeah. He guided these ghosts up here so that whenever the clock hands point to a number that's missing, a bunch of ghosts just pop out. He really did just stuff a bunch of ghosts into these places. A little bit messed up. Every time the clock swings around, a new batch of ghosts is ready for you to fight. It's not all greenies, because you saw more than just greenies in that image. If you let that clock reach, uh... Hold on a second. If you let that clock reach back up to here, if you let that minute hand reach all the way back up to there, while you're fighting ghosts, then, uh... You're gonna have to fight all those ghosts again. I think that's what happens. Well... Uh, you know... Four hours have passed. Every four hours? Terror. And starting now, the possessors will not let you flash them before they attack. Now they will cover themselves in a in invisible armor, so you cannot even touch them until they're done. Also, usually the number of horns they have on their heads uh, corresponds to the number of times they attack. I'm not sure why that guy attacked, uh, four times. He was supposed to attack just three times. 
Very weird. Oh! Another point. Sneakers. Another point. You can blow. You can suck on the clock hands. It's really interesting. Of course, it doesn't really help anything. If anything, it just makes the situation more difficult. Because you're running out of time. And you're the reason that you're losing time. Got all three. Nice. And this is the only boss fight where you can get this much money. Usually, at the end of boss fights, you only get like a couple of coins and uh, three gold bars from the uh, possessors. This time, you're getting like a buttload more. Alright, so I'm gonna blow this guy's Halloween costume, or take off this guy's Halloween costume. Just gotta blow this back, just to give myself some more time. Uh oh. Dang. Yes! Alright! So four hours have passed. You know what that means? Evil! So let's see how many times he attacks. One. Two. Ow. Three, four. He, he's supposed to attack just three times. Eh, it doesn't matter. Pulled off his muscles, just his skin now. Or, not skin, blood. And now... The clock hands are on fire. Be careful, because if you run into them, you're going to burn yourself and lose the ghost that you have uh, or that you're currently trying to bust. Might I also add... You'll get hurt by the clock hands if you're in the way of them as they spin around. Alright, sitting on this guy. Sneakers aren't that big of a deal. Too bad you can't put out the fire. Yes, we got a lot of streaming in there. Oh, shoot! I just realized. We still have one left. So you know what I said in the Haunted Towers, the stairs was my favorite fight? Uh, I think I lied. This is my favorite fight. This is honestly the most creative idea for a boss fight I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, just having the entire freaking mansion, the entire freaking clock that they're battling, that you're standing on, come to life, and just fight a bunch of ghosts. It's kind of a cool concept. Also, yeah, it's gonna spin around again. And last phase! Fight every single type of ghost that you fought up to this point. And I do mean every ghost, every type of ghost, every everything that you fought up to this moment, you're fighting again. Don't be mad at me yet. Alright, so now we're done with that. Four hours have passed! So now, death. The end is near! And yeah, the clock hands are still on fire. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. And here's another thing I forgot to mention. If you leave a possessor for too long, he will go back inside whatever he was possessing and you will have to do all that over again. But we got him, so now we got the dark moon piece. 
Yeah! Yay! We sucked up a blood red ghost and got his pieces. Got what was in his stomach. Alright! Is that done? Oh. There's always another call. Outstanding, Luigi! That possessor didn't stand a chance! You really cleaned this cloth. Hold still, I'll bring you back. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I cracked myself up, my boy. So all you gotta do is just sit and wait. But of course, we know that cuckoos hate us. There we go! That is the end of the old Clockworks boss. And we have a three star rank! Yay! And plus all the gems. So now let's head back. So, this boss and the boss in the Honda Towers. They're the only two boss missions where you can catch normal ghosts on top of the Possessor. Because if you remember, for the Haunted Towers boss, it was the eerie staircase where we fought ghosts. But on in this boss mission, it was the actual boss itself that we fought ghosts on. Just thought I'd point that out. Welcome back, Luigi. You were mighty heroic up there fighting that Possessor. Cry mini! I can now actually hear the possessor raging around inside the poltergust. Let's get him to the vault quickly before he decides to possess the poltergust. And then he sucks all of us into it. That would not be good. New gem, new ghost, and treasure. Perfect! Are we also unlocked? Outlandish intrusion. Interruption. Sorry. The longer the possessor ghosts remain with the dark moon pieces, the stronger they seem to get. Good thing I've made some upgrades for the Poltergust 5000, which I already have. Anywho, that dark moon piece has probably been corrupted by dark energy. Let's get it cleaned up. Alright. Clean it off. Now that it's back to being the way it is, we now reveal to ourselves Winter. The more Dark Moon pieces we find, the more I think someone shattered it on purpose. Anywho, we've got to keep going. Let's check the map and see if any more fog is lifted. And there's our next, our next mansion, a winter cabin. Ah, the top of the mountains. That's the coldest place of Evershade Valley. I hope you brought your winter coat. Of course I didn't buy a winter coat, you gad! Drag me in before I can say no! Alright. Well, we have our next location, the Secret Mine. Some determined geologists started a mining operation in these snow-capped mountains. When ghosts started moving in, they got scared and abandoned it. Very ominous. The next episode, we're not going to the secret mine. Instead, we're going to be tackling the outlandish interruption. But first, we gotta go down to the vault and check out our collection. Because we got a new ghost. On top of that, we got ourselves a new statue. So I think I'll we'll start with looking at the new statue. Let's go on over. Here we are. All the rubies are collected, let's view the statue. Luigi standing proud after he conquered a, a clock factory. Look at him. He looks so proud of himself. And next, we have ourselves a new ghost. Let's check him out. The Overset Possessor! To protect the Dark Moon piece within him, he possessed the huge clock face at the top of the clock tower and called an, on a hordes of ghosts to help him out. A battle to remember. Also, have you noticed something so far? Grouchy Possessor. Harsh Possessor. Out Overset Possessor. 
G H O. And on top of that, check back on the Dark Moon Quest screen. Gloomy Manor, Haunted Towers, Old Clockworks, and now Secret Mine. G H O now S. And on top of that, Gradual Infiltration, Hostile Intrusion, Outlandish Interruption. G H O. All of this is setting up to spell ghost. In case you can in case you didn't know that, now you know. So naturally, it's reasonable to assume that the ghost in the possessor in the secret mine is gonna start with S, and the bonus mission is gonna also start with S. Of course, if you want to spell out ghosts, you could count the scare scraper as well. But we're not doing the scare scraper, so I guess you don't have to. But I just thought that was a little Easter egg that I point out to you, and we'll clear more up of it, more of it up as we keep going. But until then, guys, thanks so much for tuning into this awesome episode of Luigi's Mansion 2 HD for the Nintendo Switch. Please, till next time, we'll head to the outlandish interruption. We've got a complication. There are paranormal signals in yellow clockworks again. It's hu ghost hunting time, Sonny, like it wasn't already. We'll go back to the old clockworks, finish up whatever we can there, fill it up. Uh, Clear it out of its ghost problems, and then it's on to the secret mind with us. It's gonna be fun, I promise. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. So long, everybody. See you in the next one.